Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So while the last several videos have been about my 2020 Grom and some of the modifications that I've been doing to that bike, I have in the background slowly been working on my 190cc, I was calling this the CTR um, slash DAX slash the different things that this particular bike is called. But uh, I am ready, I think for first ride, as I've made a lot of tweaks since that first start of the motor, which was solid, um, getting the clutch linkage set up, having to create new lines for just about everything. There's still a lot of small things that I need to do before the bike is going to be finished, but I think all of the big fundamental elements of this build is complete. So uh, I will get to first ride here in a little bit, but just to touch on a few things in particular. Obviously, I did make a wiring harness and it's run throughout the bike, but I still need to do the lights and the speedometer. I need to paint this headlight bucket, of course. But all of the electronics, for the most part, are finished. I also need to get lights in the back, and I do have this registered in Vermont like I do most of the other CT bikes, and then I can get it. Uh, titled and registered here in Florida pretty easily. Uh, I put the Michelin Power Pure tires on. I was actually running this on the Monkey at one point, and these are the same tires that I'm now running on the uh, 2020 or the 2022 100 gram, although I'm running a slightly wider set on that bike. But fantastic tires. These aluminum rims from t Volt USA are awesome. Uh, the suspension setup, everything is nice and clean and neat, and it's also allowed me to adjust the height of the bike. So using both the adjustable rear and front suspension, I have it balanced out and at a ride height that I think looks good, but once I start riding it around, I'm sure I'll be making tweaks. The other thing, like the other CT190 bike that I did that I'm impressed with, is the fitment of the wheel spacing and uh, the chain not quite touching the wheel. So I have a offset front sprocket, it's seven millimeters offset, and a seven millimeter offset rear uh, sprocket to have it about three millimeters of clearance between the chain and the tire. Um, there's also only about four millimeters of clearance between the chain and the rear swing arm. Everything is really precise and on these builds I'm always excited when I'm able to get things to fit just perfectly like that. But I think the look is great. Again, I'm using a similar cooling setup as I used on the previous 190 bike um, and lots of other similar elements. The fact that this has a disc brake though I'm imagining is going to have much better stopping power. I don't have the rear brake set up yet, but I am going to be doing just the regular uh, drum brake that comes on the bike with the foot lever. So let me get this off, get it started, and uh, go for a ride. All right, so engine is completely cold. Got my makeshift kickstand engine on. I don't seem to need to use choke on this. Uh, as soon as, uh, after the first few starts, just leaving it in the regular mode seems to be fine. The bike feels really good. Uh, the steering feels good, the brakes are strong, uh, and the engine seems to be running pretty well. I think there's some small tuning that I can do in the carb. Um, right now it's just set up exactly as it was from um, the factory or the carb was, I mean the carb is just the way that it came uh, straight out of the box. Uh, but anyway, aside from some carb tuning, everything feels really good. Uh, the engine pulls very hard. Still in somewhat of a break-in period since uh, I've only now run it probably for a mile, but um, once it does break in a bit more, I plan to get it on the dyno, and my guess is it's going to be the fastest mini bike that I've got in the garage. As I look around the bike, there's lots of little things that I'm noticing. 
that I need to work on. I did just make kind of a ad hoc kickstand by cutting down something that was too long, um, but it doesn't actually have a foot. It works well enough now, but something that I plan to uh, weld and have powder coated like I've done on some of the previous bikes. But yeah, this feels really good. Um, the, the wheels, particularly these 12 inch wheels wrapped in the Michelin tires, feel nice and sticky. Um, I heard some people mention in the comments as I was putting together these forks that they were having problems with the forks um, and the suspension not feeling good. I did add a little bit of oil for the directions, a little bit of extra shock oil. Um, but yeah, they feel fantastic. Um, and they have lots of travel. They're not going to uh, bottom out at all. But this actually feels a lot more like the Grom or uh, the Monkey than it does a CT70 bike. But again, with the big engine and the 12 inch wheels, obviously it is set up more like uh, one of those newer bikes. So I'm gonna put more miles on the bike, work on some of these final tweaks, and uh, it probably won't be too long until I'm calling this project complete. Anyway, I appreciate everybody following along. I also still have the CT70 restoration that uh, I really need to get going again, but uh, appreciate everybody sticking around as I've got all these different projects going on at the same time. So thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.